Hi friends, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of my 25 recaps of 2018 series where I post consecutively for 25 days straight basically until Christmas Day. And so this week is in May. It's the week that I went to the Wizarding World for the first time in Orlando, Florida. We also did a half day at Magic Kingdom and then we flew home. I want to take a quick moment to thank everyone who left a comment in my previous video. It was nice to be welcomed back with enthusiasm for the series even though they are super out of season threads. I recorded this one in July and I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm using a kit from Oddloop and if you didn't know I am a total Hufflepuff so of course I had to use this kit for this week. I love the original art. Ricky who is the illustrator for Odd Loop did an amazing job. I am using the full kits on premium matte paper, but they do offer the pages a la carte as well as on glossy paper. So what I've done so far is place down the bottom washi. This is an extra add-on page, but it's so cool with the Marauder's Map design. I think it adds a bit of playfulness to the spread. On top, I stacked the Hufflepuff washi from Simply Gilded. For the date covers, I am using gold foiled numbers from The Giving Girl. She sells super affordable foiled stickers and this sheet comes with 3 months worth of dates. I used glitter headers from Mandy Dreams and then I placed them in an alternating pattern to evenly distribute the colors. Next, I am going to quickly put together the sidebar, starting with the Hufflepuff house crest in the Thankful Thoughts section. I think that little badger is freaking adorable, it's so cute with the little blushed cheeks. Then I'm going to just put down the habit trackers and some solid washi and space it out to my liking, I suppose. At first, I was going to use a full box heart checklist, but then I realized that the, the kit comes with nine character boxes, so I would rather use all nine of them. So I decided to just put Voldemort in the sidebar. This was another kit where the full box artwork was just too cute to cover up with stickers or writing, so I placed them down all before filling out the week. I wanted to keep the main three characters in the beginning of the week, and then I followed a pattern based on the color of the background of each full box, if that makes sense. So the pattern should be gray, yellow, black, and then it repeats. Next, I just wanted to find the proper space to put the weekend banner. It didn't fit at the top, so I'm just going to place it at the bottom of Saturday and Sunday. So the camera cut me off, but on Monday we ate breakfast at the Disney hotel we were staying at. This time we were at one called Pop Century, and I loved the theme of it. So each block of rooms are designated a certain decade, so like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then a bunch of decorations that were quintessential to that time period were like all over that building. So it was pretty cool and fun to see. So this was the day that we visited Universal Studios. More importantly, this is the day that I visited Hogwarts. So we didn't have a direct bus from the Disney Hotel, of course, to Universal. So we just took an Uber or a Lyft. I don't know which one. And then when we got there, I needed some Starbucks. Like, needed some coffee because I was still super jet lagged and sleepy and so I took one of these skinny foiled flags from the giving girl on top I layered a coffee cup from happy Daya. by the way the egg omelet sticker that is in the quarter box above is also from happy Daya. and then I wrote with my pen that we got some Starbucks in the half box I lettered that we visited the wizarding world of Harry Potter but of course we explored other parts of Universal Studios too we did get a park hopper pass just so that we could go from Hogsmeade to Diagon Alley in one day. So unfortunately, it wasn't possible to visit all the different parts of the park, so we'll definitely have to go back one day. Following what I did the previous week, I marked the first ride of the day with a quarter box. We went straight for the Forbidden Journey rides at Hogwarts. It was so much fun that we went on it twice that day. Then we took the Hogwarts Express to Diagon Alley and rode the Escape from Gringotts ride before taking a break and exploring the shops and taking a buttload of photos, of course. Gotta get those IG pics. I am decorating each little activity with some stickers from my Larry Planter sheet. Besides the Harry Potter rides, we went on the Jurassic Park, Mummy, Jimmy Fallon, Fast and Furious, and Spider-Man rides too. A lot of them are 3D motion rides, so if you easily get motion sickness, then keep this in mind when you visit. 
Of course, I tried butterbeer, which is pretty sweet, so I don't think we even finished the whole cup, but it probably didn't help that I got ice cream from Florian's Ice Cream Parlor. It was, I believe, like an Earl Grey flavor, and it was really, really good. It was quite difficult to figure out the perfect placement for the stickers because I wanted to put as many activities as I could in that small space, as well as use the deco stickers from my Larry Planter sheet. I put down a meal label to mark our dinner. We ate at the three broomsticks, which was nice because they have an outdoor seating area with a view of Hogwarts, so we could watch the nighttime show being projected onto it while eating. After a really long day at the park, we were so tired, but because it was our last night, I really wanted to stop by Disney Springs because we didn't have time to do it before. So I dragged Brian to go to Disney Springs with me and we walked around, we explored a bit, and it was really cool. I wish we could have gone when the shops were like all open. By the time we went, a lot of the shops were closed, but we just went to like the World of Disney store and walked around there and I got some souvenirs. So I'm really glad I did it even though we were super duper tired. Tuesday was our last day in Orlando. We did a half day at Magic Kingdom and I lettered that in a half box with a deco sticker from the SPC Magic Kit I used last week. And it's really cute because it's a button with Cinderella's castle on it and it says first visit, which it was for me, so it was like perfect to mark that box with. When we arrived, we grabbed some snacks. We went to this colonial area. I don't remember what it's called, but we got some Mickey waffles and I got a Mickey, what is it, like a chocolate dipped vanilla ice cream stick thing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna write that in that quarter box. And then we went on the aerial ride. We had tickets to go to Splash Mountain, but I don't think we made it there. Went on Haunted Mansion. I got to see Daisy and Minnie. So it was a really quick but fun and packed trip. Oh, I also ate a turkey leg. So I'm using that Plans with Vanessa turkey leg sticker to mark that. Then we all rushed to the shuttle bus to get back to the hotel to pick up our luggages and then head on to the airport. And that was the end of our Orlando trip. It was humid and sticky with scattered thunderstorms, but it was a ton of fun and I admired all of the beautiful intricate details at all the parks I visited. I can't wait to go again, but unfortunately that probably won't be soon. Luckily, I live pretty close to Disneyland and Universal Studios in California, so I can go there for my Disney and Harry Potter fix. I took an asterisk label and I lettered the airport names again from MCO to SFO. I found out through a comment in my previous video that MCO does not stand for a person's name, but instead the name of the Air Force base that it once was, so that was pretty cool. On top, I layered this Let's Go Maru traveling sticker from my shop. Moving on to Wednesday, it is my older sister's birthday. I don't know why I said older. I only have one sister, but it is it was her birthday. So I took a half box and I lettered her name on it. I also started feeling sick, like I had like a sore throat that day, which I think is pretty common after you know, having really poor sleep, being jet lagged, and just traveling. So I wrote that on an asterisk label. Oh, and I also layered that gold bow bar sticker from the Giving Girl in that half box. I wanted to incorporate the Hufflepuff washi more, so I cut a strip and stacked it under the label. And for that, I used my Fisker's craft knife to cut the washi straight. Also that day, it was Brian's first day at his new job, so I wanted to mark that with a quarter box and a button sticker from Once More With Love. My sister had a dinner that evening to celebrate her birthday with her friends, and we joined, and oh my god, it was so freaking tasty. We went to a restaurant in Fremont called Flaming House, and it had Korean fried chicken, soju, and kimchi stew, which I believe is like kimchi bude jjigae. I'm very sorry. I'm not Korean. I probably pronounced that incredibly wrong, but it was so good. And so I put that in a half box and I'm using this KBBQ sticker from Happy Dia to decorate. Moving on to Thursday, I placed down a black teardrop and then on top I layered a coffee cup icon from Happy Dia. Next to that, I used a morning coffee script sticker from my store. 
and then I used a large section of that pattern washi underneath with all the cute little house animals. So there's like a lion, a serpent, a badger, and I believe an eagle. On top, I layered this character sticker from Happy Daya that is in front of a computer, but thinking about sleep because, you know, post-travel is very difficult to just get back into work. All I wanted to do was sleep, plus I was feeling sick, so that was quite accurate. I took a TV label and I put a binge watch sticker from my store on top because I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I put down a dinner label and then I wrote that we got some Chinese takeout. My throat was really hurting so we picked up some soup to help soothe it. And then underneath I used a pattern washi strip and I layered this bed icon from Happy Daya because I was just resting that night. On Friday my gym bill was due so I wrote that on a dollar sign label. Under that, I took a yellow teardrop from the kits and layered on top a tea bag sticker from Bunny Lion Story because I made myself some green tea. I used another dollar sign label to mark depositing a paycheck. I have no idea what was up with payroll and HR, but I had to deposit a physical check that day. I love how sly Malfoy's face looks like in this full box with that slightly raised eyebrow and smirk. I love it. I watched some episodes of New Girl and wrote that on a TV label and then I wanted to try these themed checklists that came with the kits because instead of being like the usual heart shape, they were Harry Potter themed shapes. So I wanted to incorporate that into my spread. Saturday I met up with some planner friends. Actually it was the first time I met Carolyn from Carolyn Plans, which feels weird because it seems like it's been much longer than just six months. I layered that Mario sticker on top of the small page flag to note that I picked up Anna, and then we were meeting to of course get Boba, what else would we do? I topped the half box with a gold foiled black bow from Clever Gal Crafts and used these three peeking munchkins from Once More Love at the bottom. I believe this was the first time Carolyn tried Hong Kong style egg puff waffles, which is like a not too sweet pancake like treat. <laughs> if you haven't tried it before but see it on a menu somewhere, you should totally try it out. I went shopping afterwards and I used a shopping cart icon from the kit and then wrote the places I went to. Then Brian and I watched an episode of a series of unfortunate events and I wrote that on a TV label. Now moving on to Sunday. I used a mailbox label and I wrote that I needed to send out some emails. And to celebrate Mother's Day, Brian and I had a joint family celebration. We all got tickets to see Stars on Ice, which was an ice show featuring ice skating Olympians. And oh my god, I fangirled over nearly all of them. Definitely over the Shipsibs and Nathan Chen. Of course, I had to give some love to the Bay Area native Karen Chen. And then Brady Tennell was just lovely to watch. I loved her too. I placed down a pattern washi strip. And on top, I layered this Olympic ring icon that I made for myself during the Olympics. Then both families got dinner together and we ate some Thai food. So I put down a meal label and then wrote down the restaurant name. And then we all drove home. So I put a heart label and I wrote that down too. So that is it for this week's spread. I love how it turned out. I always admire Odd Loop's artwork. And of course, I have to show my Hufflepuff pride. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, click the like button and subscribe and leave a comment which Hogwarts house you are in. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.